In this video, we'll be working with the My Menu function and the interrelometer. Clicking the My Menu button, the star icon, allows you to select, group together, and save your six most frequently used menu items together on one screen for quick access on the camera. When you press the Menu button on your camera, your menu appears with the six most commonly used functions that you selected. You can choose any of the menu items available in your camera, select and move them to the window on the top left of your screen, and then apply them to your camera. I find not having to scroll through multiple menus to get to the functions that I use all the time to be a real time saver. Have you ever wanted to make time-lapse videos and wondered how they're made? I'm going to show you how to make your own videos by using only your DSLR and the intervalometer function in the EOS utility without having to purchase an intervalometer. The process is simple to execute. Click the stopwatch icon, check the interval timer shooting, and enter the required values. Careful consideration should be given to the type of activity that you're seeking to capture when setting the interval. If you want to show lots of activity, energy, and movement, I recommend short intervals between exposures. The minimum option, time interval between shots that is, is five seconds, and the maximum is 99 minutes and 55 seconds between frames. The minimum number of shots you can select is two. For this movie, I set my camera to the medium JPEG and selected five second intervals. This captured 12 images per minute, giving me the kind of motion that I wanted. For scenes like flowers opening, exposures of every 30 minutes may be more appropriate. Once your timing is set, click Start to begin the timing functions. You can also program the camera to begin shooting at a later time using the delay setting entry in the timer settings window. You do not enter the actual time of day. You have to enter the duration of time from right now that you want to begin shooting. You enter them in the minutes and seconds fields. Bulb exposures allow you to set a duration for the shutter to remain open after the shutter has been depressed. And it operates much like the B mode from the manual film cameras using a cable release. Bulb exposures are perfect for recording star trails in a night sky over a long period of time. Set the required aperture, select the clock icon, and enter a value for the exposure time. Your options are between 5 seconds and 99 minutes and 59 seconds in 1 second increments. To start your exposure, click the black shutter button. Please note that if long exposure noise reduction is set in the custom functions menu on your camera, your effective exposure time will be doubled.